Hello everyone, it is William here coming at you with another chess video. These are some of the lessons that I have learned from Papa Iano. Lesson 14, Bishop e2, Knight f3, Bishop g5, in the Nidorf. A positional way to play. But how should black react? Let's check this bishop g5. White black plays bishop e6. Let's suppose black plays knight b to d7, intending whenever white takes an f6 to take the knight. Yeah, so the once yeah, it's, yeah, to yeah, to retain control. Of d5. Yes. So white will now play a4, and we reach the same idea, the same type of position from a different uh, move order. If black now plays b6, immediately he's much worse. Knight d2, bishop c4, yes, and white yes. is much better. So this is a playable position, but after a4, knight b7 is a playable move, but black has to be very careful. a4, and now there is only one move to play, a6. So far, after a6, white, uh, we didn't even mention it. White would definitely play bishop h4. Once again, he goes bishop h4. Now, if b6 again, knight d2, white is much better. If castle short, okay, you castle short with black, but then you postpone the problem. Yes, uh, on the next move, I will ask how, how will you develop, my friend. So it's better to solve the problems immediately, is chess and as well as in life. If you don't solve it right now, it, uh, it means that tomorrow it won't be solved by itself, it will be even bigger. So try to solve it right here, right now. And it can be solved by the move g5 and black gets, gets a nice game. You Bishop, this yes. idea in the game of Navarra in the first round, it's different. Position. Yes, it's slightly different, knight c5. So uh, if black knows a lot about the knight, he will definitely choose this move, knight d2. And this is a totally different story. Black has never played b6 or moves like this. Bishop e6 and black has a very good game. He can even castle uh, on the castle long, if you can believe, yes. in the knight. Or he can castle even short, for example, short castle by white. By white, let's play short castle, and short castle by, by black is yes, very now it's very safe. Yes, there are no and the bishop on g3 doesn't stand well. If it was on e3, white may have uh, an advantage. So this is a totally playable position for black if he plays correctly. Instead of knight bd7, which was also playable, bishop e6 was played. Sorry, yes. so bishop e6. And now white has to take immediately. Because any otherwise... Knight bd7, any other move is totally, uh, makes uh, bishop g5 totally... Uh, so for example, here, here knight bd7, the bishop has been developed. Yes, so yes. No, need for no b6, b6, bishop b7, of course. And now black retains permanent control Another of d5 square. Yes. yes, with great control. Yes, so yes. this is... So bishop, bishop takes b6. f6 is forced, because knight bd7 eternally controls d5 square, and then the bishop on g5 will only be handy. So take, bishop takes... Uh, here you see on yes. the screens at the bottom right, uh, Sabino Brunello, the, mm -hmm. the Queen D2. Okay. Uh, Marina? I'm not interested about any player, I'm now excited only for the no. Queen d2 is possible, this position exists even with a knight on b3. Queen d2, instead of queen d2, he can probably play knight d5 immediately. Now black doesn't want to take on d5 because queen takes, and this is a very good, small but very annoying advantage. The bishop coming to c4, yes. very good control of yes. the light squares. Exactly. So but there is a problem here, he's threatening to take, take, and take d6. There. I, I will maybe. give you two solutions. Maybe. One solution is maybe queen a5 check, because this is a deep move, because if white plays c3, for example, black gets a very nice game after c3. Black will take on d5, and now white is forced to fill the weak square with a pawn. But we want to put a piece there, not a pawn. Black so is at least equal to yes, d6 pawn. Oh, after yes. knight d2, actually, let's play knight d2, queen c7 and castle short. Y uh, no, no, white to play. Uh, black, surprisingly, can even play king e7. This is a very typical move because the king is absolutely safe on e7. No knight d5 check ever in this game, and no knight f5 uh, check. The king is absolutely safe there and put the rooks on d8 and on c8. Uh, or play king e7 if you want people to talk about you. If you don't want, you can just castle short. I remember when uh, Bobby Fischer did it. Uh, yes, in yes. One game, and everybody was. Yes, against Matulovic. And uh, that was, at that moment, that was a real uh, uh, revolution at that moment. Uh, okay. Fischer was the only player who was so many years ahead of his time. All the world champions, I may say, were ahead of their, their time. Kasparov also, and many others, even Carson. Uh, why do I say even? Because now it's much more difficult to achieve it. Uh, because if information, chess information is available to everybody. But Fischer was the one that. Castle a5 and now Rook d1, Bishop a6, Queen d2, Rook h c8, Queenside pressure for black Take the knight, come in on c3 Double on the c file Bring the queen in g6, just a little waiting move, bring the queen in again f3, final weakness, we come in on the e3 square Queen comes into d1, taking f3. Picking up the e4 pawn. And it's over. Rook end game. You are too many pawns up. And now Matulovic resigned. Lesson 15. Queen takes d7, Sicilian. 
in here it's playable it's not playable 96 is playable and a6 is playable but i will tell you now the worst move from a practical point of view uh, for black here is 96 after 96 this is not a bad move but from a practical point of view now white has very easy play and he will play the next 15 moves very fast and easy without thinking very typical ideas bishop d7 take on c6 bishop takes on c6 knight c3 and knight f6 bishop g5 castle long or castle short or whatever and play very fast so do not give your opponent this opportunity to have very easy play and uh, develop his pieces and learn within just a few minutes why can learn how to play this position no we don't give him this right we play more complicated more difficult stuff so okay, uh, so if i was chosen by Brunello, yes, bishop check. Seven. now knight d5 is, is uh, almost forced strategically bishop d7 would knight d7 is almost forced. bishop d7 would be a mistake because bishop takes queen takes for example queen d3 and now this d5 square is very weak the light squares yes obviously so knight d7 mm -hmm. uh, the difference is that here white has to yes. either lose a lot of time yes. to d3 and or this is very similar to uh, queen takes this is a bit more modern way to play bishop knight three queen c6 once again instead of queen c6 e black plays knight f6 by now you should be able to tell not you but all the people who are watching which is the best move bishop g5 and without thinking take on f6 and establish a knight on d5 forever queen c6 castle bishop e6 uh, sabino delays mm -hmm. knight f6 what happens if white plays follows the same strategy and plays bishop g5 now what will happen? H6. h6 is the move, bishop h4. When I say knight on f6, I will take it. When uh, I say bishop on e7, I will take it. But after bishop h4... Okay, it happened in the game. Yes, yes, the yes, the was played, yes. and then he played here. Yes, so h6, this is very typical. And g5 is the only move. I have absolutely no doubt that without looking at the board, that black played g5, because this move makes sure that white, uh, that the black knight will appear on f6, and it will stay there forever. Yes, this is... Knight f6, yes, and black has a very good game. Uh, very similar uh, lines can may come from the open Sicilian knight, or from the Sicilian with bishop b5 check. Lesson 16, Karo Khan, Amazing Queen Sacrifice variation. Chess never ends. With e takes f6, and why? Because uh, this is, the construction is similar to the Berlin defense, because uh, e takes f6, 4 against uh, against 3 with double pawns. If we remove every piece, white is winning the pawn ending, but here black can, uh, can play bishop d6. He, he has very uh, easy piece play, and uh, many times he, he plays c5, and he wins, uh, at least in amateur or in uh, international master level, let's say, he wins on the other side by blocking uh, white's uh, passed pawn. And this is a very interesting new trend. I suggest that you immediately put this variation as black in your repertory. It's a really good line. A couple of years ago, it started becoming very fashionable with a good reason. Black has good results with it. Uh -huh. Okay, so... Uh, C3 is C3 the most ambitious. Yes, yes, bishop D3. The the 92, this has been played because, because of The computer will immediately show a good advantage for white, but this is not, uh, not simple at all. Okay. Yes, C2. And now they play this strange move, H5. Also, H6 or King H8 is possible. H5 is a deep move. In uh, some cases, black plays H4. Immediately some, actually, yes. yes. And, uh, bishop e3. Yes, knight e7. Knight f8. Mm -hmm. So counter chances. Yes. He's playing on the light squares mm -hmm. and some pressure on d4. Mm -hmm. Okay, the position. Uh, Black seems to have a yes, good counter play here. Without this, any I'm telling you, this is a very interesting variation. Yes, and c5 here. Positional sacrifice. Intending to play queen f3. Yeah, this is a serious threat yes. here, queen a3. And now, of course, black can win an exchange with knight f3, but probably he's looking for more. He played he here, played and bishop f4 was played. Mm -hmm. This position looks tricky for, uh, uh, for, for white, yes? Yes, uh, maybe he, white lost the tempo. She should have played bishop f4 to put it on d6 very fast. Ah, so the idea is to put it on d6 now. Yes, but, but look now, is it possible to play knight e2 check? Let's check for a while. Or even queen e2. Queen, queen e2 is maybe too much, but let's check. Ah, it's almost working. Rook takes e2, knight takes e2, bishop takes e2, rook d1 check, bishop f1, uh, bishop g2. But unfortunately, rook c1 is winning for white. Shame, it would have been very Is nice. it winning? Just a second. I take on c1 and play rook d1, but queen d3. Chess is so unfair. Queen ah, d3 and queen black d3. Black resign. Okay. No, but rook takes c1. What is going on here? b4. Chess never ends. <laughs> b4. Uh, I think black uh, would lose here. Yeah, okay. This was maybe a bit too extreme. Okay, the game uh, developed in some way. Let's go. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video format, leave a comment below. Click the Williams Chess channel icon to subscribe to this channel. Plus, check out all the other videos I know you'll love too. Until next time.